guys, Jordan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can change your dashboard background in Lion from this very Lego brick-like background to background you like, such as this very slick wooden one that you can see right here. Now the first thing that you need to do is find the image that you would like to use as your background. I have links down below in the description to a couple uh, great pictures that you should check out, but I'm going to use this one right here and the link for this is down below. Um, just drag it to your desktop or right click on it and save the image. Now we need to make sure that this image is a PNG, so if it isn't a PNG already, open it up with preview then go up to file export and make sure that the format is png now name it the following pirelli one and name it that exact thing and then select save and now we have our newly created image right here on our desktop now go into your macintosh hard drive then go into system library core services, then go down to where it says doc dot, dot app, right click, select show package contents, then go into contents, resources, and then go down to where it says Pirelli.png. And this is actually the background for dashboard. Um, it's just that one dot repeated hundreds and hundreds of times to make up the background. So we're going to replace this background image with our newly created one. But go ahead and back up this image by copying, pasting, or holding down option and then dragging it onto your desktop and that copies and pastes it. Um, you want to go ahead and back up this file. So in case you ever want to switch back to the default setting, um, you can. And uh, just a uh, word of precaution, be extremely careful when you're messing around and changing anything in these types of files and folders. Um, you can really mess up uh, stuff with your Mac if you're deleting and you don't know what you're doing. But as long as you stick to what I'm telling you to in this video, you'll be fine. Now, um, rename this image Pirelli dash back up. And then you can name this one just Pirelli. So just take off that one. Now drag Pirelli.png, our new one, into the folder. And then you'll need to authenticate it. And then select replace. And then you'll need to type in your password. And once that's all done, you can see that our new image is now in there um, instead of the old image. But we now need to restart the doc. Um, dashboard and mission control to uh, for this to take effect. So to do that, we need to open up terminal and run a little command. So you can find terminal under your applications in the utilities folder, and then you can see terminal right there. Now type in the following command uh, exactly like I type it, all lowercase except for the D in doc, and I'll leave this command down below in the description as well. But you just type in kill all doc and then hit enter. As you can see, the doc and everything restarts. And now if we go on over to dashboard, um, the very nice wooden background is here. So um, that's how you change your background to whatever you would like. But we're not done quite yet. If we go up to Mission Control, you'll see that this background is still that old kind of ugly background. Well, why is that? Well, if we go back into this resources folder and we go up, we can see mini Pirelli.png. And let me zoom in on it. Um, this is actually what makes up that background in mission control. So we need to replace this one as well. So to do that, um, go over here and hold down option and drag this one back on to your desktop or just copy and paste it. And then we need to shrink down this size to a smaller size since it's only going to take up that little spot up there in Mesh Control. So open it up with Preview, and then go to Tools, Adjust Size, and then shrink it down to about 200 by 125. Um, if you're using a 1920 by 1080, P screen like I am, this should be fine. If you're using a larger screen, you may have to uh, keep it a little bit larger, such as 250 or 300. But if you're using just a 1080p screen like I am, uh, 200 by 125 will be fine. And then just select OK. And then uh, make sure you save it. Now, 
Um, we need to rename this one mini Pirelli underscore Pirelli and put a one in front of it just for now because again we want to back up this file. Hold down option, drag it onto your desktop. And why um, we're putting these ones in there is because if we didn't, uh, it wouldn't be able to back it up because it's the same name. Now we can say, oh, not background, back up. Now we can change this one to just mini Pirelli and then drag it on in. Again, authenticate, replace, and type in your password. Now we need to go into terminal and retype that command again. So kill all doc. And now if we go into mission control, you can see that the background for dashboard is in mission control is the same as it in, is in actually dashboard. So that's all there is to changing the background in a dashboard. Now, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope you really enjoyed this tweak and it'll be beneficial to you. Now leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more videos like this where I show you uh, tweaks and how to change different things on your Mac, especially with Lion that you just regularly wouldn't be able to change. Now also be sure to subscribe up above to be notified when I upload more awesome videos like this. This one. Also, I'm on Twitter and Facebook. Check me out on there if you'd like. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you in my next one real soon.